ready to make something whimsical? With its lovely build of florals, the Southwest Collection Wanders Florals Chalk Box will be a perfect addition to your home and decor. Your chalk box comes with all that you see here. The surface is the 9x12 white pallet board, which is perfectly suited for the B-sized Wander Florals transfer, and a lovely palette of five chalk paste singles in Peony, Storm, Tide, Guava, and Eucalyptus. I've gathered some other helpful tools here, including my fuzzing claw, two different squeegees, a small and a mini, transfer trimmers and a marker, and then I've got some little dishes here to use for my paste, one for each color, and I always like to have a water bath nearby and paper towels for cleaning up. I'll start by cutting apart my transfer elements. And I'll label the backers so it's easy to match up later. And since these are all just little florals, I actually label the front with a number as well. First, I'll position the wander phrase in the top third of the board, just keeping it as straight as I can. And I'll prep my first paste, Storm Gray, by kneading the packet to mix the paste a bit, and then snip the corner and squeeze just a bit out onto the dish. There is still a lot left over for another project. I'll use my small squeegee and load it up with paste and just smooth it over the letters. Once it's covered, I'll scrape off the excess and then just get it washed off. Now I'll grab the largest floral element, kind of looks like a succulent to me, and I'll use it to kind of anchor the florals that I'm going to build here. So always fuzz first, and then I'll place it just left of center and I'll keep it on an angle, just so it kind of feels more organic. I love this Tide color, it's a beautiful dark teal, and I'll prep it in the same way as I've done with the gray. And then just use a little on my small squeegee. I'll get it smoothed on, and then peel and wash this piece. Now I'm going to use the viney piece, just to the right of the succulent, and I think I'll use it twice. So I'll prep this pretty eucalyptus color and use it here. Now I want to use it again, so I'll peel it and quickly reposition it on the left side of the succulent too. And you can do that with the small elements like this, and it certainly makes the project go much quicker. Now I'm going to start adding some color and flowers. I'll start with the smaller of the rose type flowers. In fact, it kind of looks like a peony to me, so I think that's what I'll use. Mixing this one up, I just need a small amount on the dish, and I'll use my small squeegee for it. I'm liking this in two spots too, so I'll do one beneath the greens. Now I'm going to use the larger version of that same flower. And I'll let it fill the spot on the left. Guava is for sure one of my favorite colors in our whole palette. I'll use my mini squeegee for this one.
and I want to do some more guava. So I'm grabbing the larger of those two open blossoms. And I'll drop one here beneath the vine and one above. And then I'll use the smaller flower and drop one right in between them. And last up, I'm using the smaller filled in flower to accent with some more Tide. And I'm just doing some ombre with eucalyptus and Tide. And since it's so little, I'm just using my finger to dab on a bit of each color and then blend them together. And we're done. It is such a light and airy design, so easy to customize however you like. This chalk box is one you will love.